Welcome, race fans, to our BMW i Andretti Motorsport season kickoff. My name is Yasmin Blair, and I look forward to guiding you through today's show. And as we all know, season six of the ABB FIA Formula E Championship is just a few weeks away, and we live in exciting times, people, because today it is time to reveal the team's brand new race car to the world. The BMW IFE 20, and it's hidden right behind me underneath this cloth right over here, but not for long. Hello? Everyone, come on, you guys. Stop. They're so eager, our creators. Come so on. Man. Let me at least introduce you. Everyone, let me introduce you, fans. These so are our excited. magnificent yeah. creators, Sky and Tammy. We have Patrox over there and Falco Punch to my left. Great to be here. You have millions, I mean millions of followers on various social media channels, yeah. TikTok being one of them. Mm -hmm. See, and that's the thing, that's the reason you're here, because you are going to help us launch our special BMW Motorsport hashtag I Celebrate Challenge later on today. We're looking forward to that. So why don't you tell us what is this challenge all about? So, well, I hear you on BMW like to celebrate. Hey, it's time to celebrate the new Formula E season. <laughs> Everyone is fired up to right. get going again. <laughs> on TikTok, we want to know how you celebrate the fans. So we will do our videos and then it's your turn. You guys, you start with your videos. I'm going to send you out to work. Okay. You keep on creating. Be creative. That's sure. what you Thank do. Thank you so much. And I promise to get you back for the unveiling in just a minute, okay? Awesome. Okay. Thank okay. You. Now shoot. Let's go. go. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys. See you in a minute. Bye. BMW i Andretti Motorsport is about to enter its second season in Formula E, and looking back, what an eventful debut season it was. BMW i Andretti Motorsport gained a lot of experience and scored some great results doing so. So what are the goals for the new Formula E campaign that's already starting on the 22nd of November in Diria? We got to ask BMW Group Motorsport Director Jens Markvart just that question, plus a lot more. Check it out. Oh, hey, you're here already. Welcome to BMW Motorsport. We're here in the entry hall of our Munich facility at Anton Dittbogen. We have cars here on display and we have trophies of the current season. So come on, come inside and join me on a little journey through BMW Motorsport. Shh, we'll keep that a secret for now, no, don't we? We're only launching the car today, so we can't show it right now, from next week onward. It will be there, but for now, psh. Most important for us is obviously the heart of the car, the BMW i powertrain that was developed in a very close collaboration between our production development people and our racing guys, and the software that we've developed for the car, the brake-by-wire system, and obviously the rear suspension and the packaging of the gearbox that is also our own. So let's have a look at the simulator. Come on and join me. Simulator work is really important for Formula E. The driver gets to learn the tracks, we test the software, and all together we prepare for the race weekend. So the whole team meets here in Munich a week before the race and goes through the whole weekend simulating everything, software, setup, and gets the driver ready for the weekend. I've had a go myself in the simulator, but to be honest with you, I wasn't quick and I was getting dizzy. It's really a strange thing when your eyes feel and your brain feels that you should be moving, but you're not. Formula E is a real technology hub for the BMW Group. It has a very innovative approach and we bring with Formula E racing and e-mobility into the hearts of the cities, right to the people where e-mobility happens. Well, last but not least, 
Welcome to my office. I have to admit, it's a beautiful office, but I'm not spending too much time here. 20 weekends, roughly a year that I'm gone for race events everywhere, additional test events, meetings, everything. So it's a beautiful office, but I'm not here too much. Here it is already. Formula E test in Valencia from tomorrow onwards. Everything ready to go. So I'll pack my bag now and head off to Valencia. My daughter loves TikTok and I've actually been the cameraman for a lot of her little video clips. So I really think it's great that we can show our passion for racing and Formula E on this great platform. I hope a lot of you join in and post their little videos with hashtag I celebrate. I'm looking forward to watching those. Hmm, some interesting insights into the work of Jens Marquardt, the BMW Group Motorsport Director. However, to be successful in Formula E, what is the most important component, of course, Exactly, the talented and clever drivers. And let's get this straight, it's not just about putting the pedal to the metal here. Instead, the drivers need to be smart at energy management. They need to deal with regen, coasting, and a completely new driving style for that matter. Not a job many can handle. So let's have a look at the skilled drivers who will be racing for BMW i Andretti Motorsport this coming season. The decision I made quite early, with six or seven years old, it has been my dream to become a professional or a racing driver. But I just kept going, living my dream, and finally I'm in, in Formula E, and uh, I'm really enjoying this part of my career now, which definitely is, is a dream coming true. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled to be coming back to Formula E with BMW i Andretti Motorsport for my second season. I absolutely love working with this team. They're really a great bunch of people. Alexander Sims has made up four places. Sustainability is something really important in my opinion. You have this beautiful planet. I think it's, um, it's something we have to do to, to save this and to, to keep it. Formula E is a fantastic place for me to be personally. I'm really interested in electric vehicles and sustainability, and obviously I have a huge passion for racing. And the championship, it creates fantastic, exciting racing, and it's electric. Spencer, you ready? Okay, let's go. Fan boost activated. Engage fan boost. Sims going for the lead. For me as a German driver, as a Bavarian driver, to be part of the BMW family, this is something, something special. Yeah, I can say I'm a, a very proud uh, BMW factory driver now. Now to be back in Formula E, it's really the pinnacle of my career. If I can stay here for some seasons, then it's, it's just amazing. And here they are, our fantastic drivers, Maximilian Günther and Alexander Sims. Welcome, you guys. Hi, Thank you so you? much for joining us. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi. Great to see you. Oh, you guys, you're not going to believe this, but there's actually someone who is even more eager to ask you guys questions than I am. Should we have them on set? Of course. Absolutely. Sky and Tammy, you can come out. Come on, Yay. guys. <laughs> how are you? You guys, you are on. This is your moment. Shoot. What makes Formula E so special for you guys? Like, how is it to adapt to an all-electric race car? The biggest difference I would say from, from our point of view is the fact that all the races are in the city centers. So we're bringing the motorsport to the fans wow. living in the city. So Max, you're new to the team. What's your first impression? It's very good, the first impression. I feel uh, very familiar inside the BMW family. Can't wait to get it all started. Alex. You were a Formula E rookie last season, right? Yep. What have you learned? What was your experience on it? Oh, God. Um, I mean, there's, there's so much to talk about, you know. But uh, the, the, the main things, really, um, learning the circuits, you know, all the circuits are brand new, and understanding the whole Formula E philosophy of mm -hmm. racing, I would say. So, so in Formula E, we start the race without enough energy to go flat out, and so we have to manage our energy during the race. So it's, it's a really different way of going racing. But the most important part, do you know TikTok? And will you be part of our iServer challenge? Of course, looking forward. <laughs> that is some great news with TikTok. But you know what? We have reached that big moment. It is now time. Yes, it's now time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's time to reveal this beauty right here. Our new BMW IFE 20, the new challenger for season six of Formula E, the BMW IFE 20. And I think we should all do that together. Oh, Can we have Falco guys. Punch and Patrox back on set? <laughs> we are missing you. 
What is your favorite detail when it comes to design? Yeah, I mean, just enough blue and white on the block. Definitely blue being my favorite color, so mm. beautiful. How about you guys, the drivers? What's your favorite detail? In my opinion, what I really like is that you have this shiny white mm -hmm. and the contrast with the matte colors, with the matte black, with the matte blue, the purple. So it really looks aggressive. Look at his smile. <laughs> he's, he's in love. He's in love with the car. So one of the main highlights, obviously, is the unique livery on the new car. And we figured we'd go meet up with the designer, Michael Scully, head of BMW Group Motorsport Design, and find out how they came up with this beautiful and amazing look you're seeing right here. Cool. The season six car for Formula E, you'll see a very explicit use of blue and purple, the natural colors of electricity. One of the elements found its roots in the BMW logo, this asymmetrical layout. No two views of the car are the same, and that asymmetrical aspect felt very appropriate to the urban context of Formula E. We built on that very high contrast constellation, and the message has shifted slightly forward from the powertrain to the driver with an entirely black cockpit area to really pronounce the fact that the driving is the critical aspect of electronic performance. All right, guys, so we've been talking so much about the BMW Motorsport I Celebrate hashtag challenge. It is now time to find out what's going to happen next. What is the next step? Well, all right, Patrick, you. we will now make your videos and then we post them on TikTok with the hashtag I Celebrate because it's just amazing to celebrate amazing race car like this. And I think <laughs> we go crazy now. And then it's your turn to post your own videos as well, okay? Mm -hmm. Around here, naturally, our drivers have the final say. So you guys, why don't we look towards the future? And Alex, why don't you tell me, what are your main goals when it comes to this season? Well, I think the, the overriding thing for me really is to put into practice the lessons that we learned in season five. I and mean, there are so many things, so many learning experiences to go through, trying to get some good results for BMW. And I'm confident we can achieve that. I'm sure you will, fingers are crossed. And you guys are actually off to test driving tomorrow to Valencia. Is that right, Max? Yes, exactly. It will be an uh, official testing week for everybody. So the first time for all of us to, to train the track with, with, with everybody, with all our competitors. You guys are going to do amazing. I feel it. We can feel the energy. You're ready. We're going to be right there. We're going to be sweating, laughing, crying, bleeding right with you. Okay? So the best of luck to both of you and fingers are crossed. Thank, Thank you, you so much, you guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. And thank you, of course, also to the partners of BMW i Andretti Motorsport, Magna, Julius Beer, Einhell, Harman Kardon, and Puma. Thank you for your support. And thank you to the fans for watching our BMW i Andretti Motorsport season kickoff. Hope you had as much fun as we did. And I also hope you enjoy the Formula E season and keep your fingers crossed, please, for our drivers, Alex and Maximilian. And most importantly of all, do not forget to go to TikTok and post your own hashtag I celebrate video now. Do it now. We are looking forward to those results. All right, guys, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. When the lightning strikes, let's stand together.